Hello sunshines, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm just going to get into the video because I just want to chat with you guys. So yesterday I did an Instagram live and I was kind of sharing with you guys that I'm kind of stuck in this place and trying to figure out what it is that I want to focus my content on and how I want to put myself out there. And I just wanted to chop it up with you guys about my feelings and how some of the things that I went through affected who I was before on social media and who I want to be now and what I want to represent. Um, so yeah, if you guys are interested in hearing me out and just listening to how I had to hide who I was um, for the benefit of my relationship or to salvage whatever was of my marriage and how now I'm so free to do so many other things that I feel a little bit lost in what exactly I want to do. If you guys can relate to something like that or maybe in a relationship where you feel confined to your relationship or limited to the things that you can do because of your relationship or if you've recently became single and are also trying to figure it out i'm just here to share with you guys how i feel i feel like i want this to be like an open book diary type of moment and i just want to chat with you guys so if you guys are interested in listening to my crap please keep on watching all right so yesterday i was on live and i was kind of sharing that i have realized that on my business channel i have almost a hundred thousand subscribers and my average video views are like five thousand to seven thousand views unless it's a really popular video very trending and people are interested in the topic then it gets way more than that right twelve thousand twenty thousand thirty thousand a hundred thousand it just depends but for the most part the average everyday video is about five to seven thousand views by the time it's picked up some traction but on this channel i have five thousand subscribers and my average video views are about two to three thousand which tells me that people are, are more interested in my personal life than my business content. And I feel like part of that is to do with the fact that, number one, my industry is super saturated and there's already so many existing boutiques and I don't think that people are like trying to do that as much as they once were. Like back a few years ago, people really wanted to try to open a boutique, but now I feel like there's so many that people are really not as interested as they once were. Or maybe they've already tried it and found that they didn't love it and are really not as interested in that type of content. Um, but also, aside from that point, I was sharing that the reason that I found so much passion in educating and teaching and um, sharing the business aspect of my life was because that was the only aspect of my life that I could share safely that wasn't going to cause problems in my relationship, even though it slightly did. But not as much as if it would if I were sharing my life. So I was able to share a piece of my life with you guys that was safe and it brought me joy to do so because that was the only thing that brought me joy. So I was so unhappy in so many other parts of my life. Like there was no way that I could ever sit down and do a sit down video like this and talk to you guys about like real life stuff without crying because I felt so sad inside. Like I knew that there were very many bad parts of my relationship. Obviously not everything is bad. Obviously you have good times with people like I'm not saying that there were never any good times but what I am saying is that overall in the big picture I just couldn't be myself and the only way that I could be myself is through my business content and sharing with that with you guys and that brought me joy it doesn't bring me as much joy as it once did though and I feel that it's because now that I am free from that relationship and now that I'm in a safe place and I can be myself and I'm in a happy relationship and my boyfriend supports everything that I do and I can that now I can fully share who I truly am and that's why I feel like I'm not as passionate about sharing business content anymore or educating because I feel like now I can show the very many different parts of me so I'm a mom, I'm a girlfriend, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a girl's girl, I love to go out, I love to laugh, I enjoy drinking with friends um, and having a good time and like listening to music, I love going to festivals, I love dancing, I love getting ready, I love going to the gym, I love being silly, I think I'm a pretty funny person and I just... 
I am able to be myself 150%. And I feel like that's part of the reason why I haven't been able to like really be passionate about business content. Last year, I really didn't do much in terms of content because I was just really trying to live my life because again, I was so boxed in for so long that I felt like I couldn't genuinely be myself. And now, and when I finally got that freedom, I was like, <gasps> Ah, you know like I'm living now like I can breathe I feel good like I was just happy you know like just happy to be alive but now that I that has passed and I've done all of that now I'm feeling like I want to come back on here share my life I feel like God gave me a purpose and I feel like he has given me a testimony in every part of my life to share with everyone and i know that it has helped people along the way from the beginning he gave me business content business he gave me a business he gave me all of this stuff in the in the beginning that brought me joy that would help other people as well while i worked on the other parts inside of me and getting to this place now so it's been like all these phases i hope i'm making sense because i feel like i'm kind of rambling but that's kind of what really what i wanted to do is just chat with you guys and to be straight up you know i do these lives on instagram if you guys haven't gone on live with me i do lives on instagram and i get talk to everybody and i get like everybody's feedback and it's like such a beautiful thing to just talk to you guys and just interact and give you guys my opinion and stuff so if you guys haven't caught any of my lives definitely follow me on instagram because i love it there i love chatting with you guys but anyway sorry i'm rambling but i'm just saying like i feel like in every stage of my life god has given me a little something to share and i feel like my genuine purpose is to be on social media and be a positive light and show the highs and the lows of life because i feel like it's very rare to see that on social media. I feel like it's very common to see a facade. And the, although I have always said that it's very difficult for me to share something when I'm going through it, um, I will never do that because I need to process that on my own. But once it has happened, once I have figured it out, I am more than happy to be open. And that's pretty much what I've done throughout the entire time that I've been on social media. is share little bits and pieces of me um, that I felt safe to do so when I felt safe to do so and I feel like sharing Those things have helped other people just like my business content helps so many people Start their businesses or inspire them to keep going and not just boutiques But different types of businesses and I feel like now sharing my journey and the healing process The things that I've done the freedom that I have now even just by me living inspiring other women to kind of let go of things that no longer serve them and i don't have all the answers and i don't know everything but what i do know is that i'm in such a better place than i once was i was sharing yesterday that i feel like i looked older back then i looked empty broken sad like nothing was there like barren like no glow no shine just nothing and I look back now and I can see it in myself and although I knew that I was hurting at the time I thought I was masking it really well and I was but I feel like once you look back at your own self and you really see the difference in who you are you can genuinely see it and honestly some of my favorite messages that I get from my following is like you can see the happiness you can see the glow like I'm living for your post like you just look like happy, like you make me smile. Those things feel so good because that's who I always wanted to be. Like I, I'm, I'm a genuinely good person. I, I have a, I have a really good heart. I know you're not supposed to say things like that, but I just want to share that. Like I have a genuinely good heart. I do for others. Like I am really fun, you guys. Like I, I love to laugh. Like I love to have a good time. And I feel like now I can show that and I can share that and I feel like it feels good when other people see that and it translates and it makes people want to have those same things because we all deserve that. We all deserve that same peace, that same joy, that happiness, that glow, that sparkle in our eyes. Like life is so short, you guys. And I think for me too, a big part of that was also my dad's death. You know, it was like holy smokes i could die tomorrow and i'm gonna die not living happy 
not feeling fulfilled, not feeling like the person I'm with supports me, not feeling like I am living life to the fullest, not feeling joy. And I'm not saying that every day is supposed to be perfect because it's not. I, I, I expect very highs and I expect very lows and I expect very just this kind of days. But overall, it's not happy. It's peace. Having peace. I don't want to die living on edge, living with anxiety, living with stress, living with resentment, living with anger. I want to be at peace my whole life. I want to have peace and having peace is the ultimate thing because you can have very many highs and you can have very many lows and yeah you can be super happy or things can go really really bad but as long as you have peace and in here you're good you can sleep at night you can still smile at things you can still find joy in things like as long as you have peace in your heart you know and I felt like that was like the ultimate gift that I got when my father passed was like ultimate peace and realization that life is so, so short. And we are not meant to only work. We are not meant to only suffer. We are not intended to be somebody's punching bag. We are children of God. God loves us. And he tells us that in so many different ways. And he tells us how perfect we are and how incredible we are. And for us to be in a relationship with somebody who makes us feel less than that is absolutely and completely unacceptable. You do not deserve that. You deserve so much better than that. God has better plans for you than that. And life is very short. And one day he's going to take you home and your testimony shouldn't just be of sadness and depression and anxiety and pain that should not be your testimony it just shouldn't you should find you find god so that you can find you and let go of things that do not serve you because i promise you that that's not what god wants for you yes there's a lesson in everything if you force something that's not supposed to be like me then you pay a big price. I did suffer for a long time, over a decade. And the last two, three years of that decade was a lot of anger and resentment and a lot of like me hurting myself. And it was my choice because I could have walked away at any time, but I never chose me. And I never chose what God wanted for me. I always chose what didn't serve me, you know? And I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like, I just want to share... I don't know like how I've been feeling like where I kind of want to take my content so if you guys have like any ideas or things that you guys would love to see from me um, post them in the comments if there's anything you guys would enjoy like I'm just getting so excited to be back on social media and grow my more personal platform like really hang out with you guys and grow this actual platform and like I don't know just be friends. I'm thinking I'll do a video of showing like the difference of what I looked like when I was unhappy as to now and how you can see that there's such a difference in who I am and it really shows on the exterior. I think I'm thinking about doing something like that to really show you guys that sometimes we do ourselves a disservice by say, staying in situations that are not good for us. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening to my rants. And please give me some feedback because I would appreciate it. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for being here. And I will catch you guys at next time's video. Shoo!